Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance in my farm tutorial series. And we've got quite a lot of farms that we've slammed through there, haven't we? We've got food farms, we've got XP farms and mob grinders, we've got resource farms. It's gone quite well. Well, in this one, we're going to do another micro farm. You lot have been saying, I really, really want to eat loads of stuff. I want to eat loads of meat. And I showed a farm in my um, Avamancia series than I think it was the last one last Friday and you guys quite liked it and you said you'd quite like to see a tutorial on it so that is exactly what we're going to do we're going to do a micro meat farm and this one is going to work for pigs cows or sheep doesn't matter you could use all three of them it's absolutely fine don't work for chickens though because they're too little but the other ones are great let's crack on with it You don't need an awful lot of resources for this farm. It is, after all, a micro farm, kind of. You need two chests, one hopper, four powered rails, four normal rails, one redstone torch. That is all the redstone you need for the whole thing. One minecart with hopper, 20 bits of oak wood, 19 stone brick blocks, 31 cobblestone blocks, 17 wooden trap doors, 52 cubes of glass. You can interchange them with some of the other blocks if you like. You definitely need some glass though one dispenser has to be a dispenser eight signs 26 stone brick stairs one wooden button i prefer the wooden button it could be a stone one but you can see the wooden one much better on the stone 42 stone brick slabs two bits of glowstone a bucket of lava and a load of wheat or carrots or whatever it is you are going to be feeding the animals that you are going to be breeding and subsequently eating let's get on with it we're going to start, as we do with so many of these little micro farms, with a trench that is three long and one wide. Inside that trench, we're going to stick a double chest, because you need a double chest, because you get quite a lot of stuff from this. It is quite effective. We then shift click and shove a hopper into that double chest. Then we want to shift click again, because we want to put a powered rail on top of that hopper. We want to then just put powered rails in a diamond shape all around there, and then get a standard rail connect up the corners so we get a little three by three circle that's what we're looking for inside that we look at putting a little redstone torch that powers the entire system and get a minecart hopper and put the minecart hopper on the corner like that don't put it on the size just yet because it can start to get a little bit confusing as it whizzes around infinitely but that is what we're looking for so that start off bit is dead easy and it is the only redstone in the entire system then we're going to get a block of wood one two and three in each corner one two and three just like that and then we're going to cut across and build ourselves a framework so this is very much like we're making a micro house almost and we've got a nice kind of three by three or, or five by five as this is so there's a three by three hole in the middle um, space for us to be able to build and then on top of this we're going to put Where's my uh, stone bricks? On top of this, we're going to put a row of stone bricks like this, completely across the top in a three by three square. Now, you're going to say, hang on a minute, if there's stone bricks there, how is this my carpet going to work? Well, I'll tell you, it does work and it's absolutely fine. And if I remove that and get that roll in, you can see now that it's going to go around and around and around and around and around forever, which is brilliant. Replace that stone bricks like there and then what you want to get is you want to get yourself some um, structural blocks now this bit actually doesn't matter what structural blocks you're going to get I'm personally going to get myself I've not got them yet where are they I'm going to get myself some stone brick I'm going to put a stone brick there I'm going to put a stone brick there but then you have to have what well, you don't have to have you could put another stone brick because things go through stone bricks but what I want is some glass so I'm just going to put some glass there and for the reason that I just like to see that little whizzy do going round and round and round. I just like it. It's just a funny thing about me. I'm going to put another bit of glass there, another bit of glass there, and another bit of glass there. I'm then going to put the steps as before all the way around there and there. So that's, that's the bottom of the system. And what we've got here is the kill chamber. And the kill chamber is where we're going to drop our um, our favorite animal that we want to eat so we're going to put a bit of glowstone in the middle though because that glowstone is going to act as a um, a light source to stop things spawning 
inside this chamber. That is not something you are going to want in your life. I've just realized that I've gone up one too far with these things. So let's get rid of these middle blocks. Keep the ones in the edge like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace these with cobble which is what I meant to do in the first place. So really sorry about that if you've just put a load of wood around here, but it was only 12 bits of wood and now you want some cobble and the contrast of the cobble and the wood looks quite nice, I think, don't you? I think it looks absolutely brilliant. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build up another row of cobble here like this, exactly like that, but we're gonna leave this bit open because we want to do some glass there. Just like that can you see what we've done and what we're going to do here is we're going to get a dispenser it has to be a dispenser and not a dropper and we're going to put a dropper on that bit there what that's going to let us do is dispense one level up so not at the bottom one level up but what we need to do is we need to create the ability to um the ability to not have it go to the bottom and the way we do that is by using signs so if we get a sign there don't have to write anything on it. Sign there and a sign, where are you? There. We can also put a sign at the side there. Sign at the side there. A sign there. A sign there. And a sign here. And on this sign, we are going to put the great mini meat cooker and that is what this thing is called and to be able to read that I'm going to remove that and I'm going to stick another block of glass right there so that is what it looks like so far you can see the mini the great mini meat cooker and it looks absolutely superb then what we're going to do here is we're going to put another row of cobble and where's my cobble going I keep moving my cobble so the other row of cobble is going to go there and it's going to rim all the way around except you want to make sure you shift click onto that exactly like that and then you can top that off with cobble as well because it doesn't actually matter now you have a choice here you can continue these up with wood i'm going to because i think it looks quite nice there oh, there and there and then again in the final corner there and there so you've got what's effectively a box that is sat there waiting for you to do something interesting with it and on this box we're going to start to um create a second platform you could call it I suppose and this platform is where we're going to keep our cows or our pigs or our sheep so we're going to put trapdoors along there we're going to put trapdoor there and there we're going to put a trapdoor there and there and a trapdoor there so you've got a ring of nine trapdoors all the way around now what we've got to do now is flap those all down because we don't need them open pretty much ever these do not uh, need to be closed at any point. And we need to do something a little bit awkward. We need to put one bit of cobble there, but remove that middle block. And then here, we have to get some more steps. And I'm gonna use stone steps here. And we're gonna go all the way around with some stone steps, like that. And then we need to get up two blocks. So in the corner, I'm gonna put in each corner I'm going to put some glass like that and I'm going to put another glass on top like that and then I'm going to come across with more glass there we go plenty of glass all over the place nice and easy now the reason I want it glass is because I like to be able to see inside and then on the underside of this I'm going to put on each side I'm going to put a trap door a wooden trap door now you only really need to put the wooden trap door on one side and then you close it up like that and it looks really quite fun but at the same time you can access the inside whenever you want as a result of that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put another row of glass around here all the way around and in a minute we're going to do something interesting with that but not quite yet. Then what we have to do is we need to build ourselves a stairway that will take us up to the top of this um, farm and I go too high uh, too wide sorry with a stairway that takes us up to the farm all the way up to the top now you could put blocks if you wanted to 
I just like it, the way it looks when it's stairs. Stairs just look better. I don't care what anybody says, they do. And then get yourself some slab. Have I got a slab? No, I've not got a slab, which is typical. So let's get ourselves a slab. This is bad preparation. Have you ever noticed I say that quite a lot? So we're going to get slabs and we're going to run slabs all the way around the edge here like this. Too wide so you don't fall off. Um, if you want to do one wide, you absolutely can. It is just that you need a platform to be able to walk around. And I like a nice wide platform personally, but if you want to make it much smaller, one is absolutely fine. There you go. So you can have that platform going all the way around to there. And that allows you to access the entirety of the build. If you come up here, you can go around that way. You can go around that way and you can go around that way. Now, you want to get yourself some cows. Now, there is a few easy ways to be able to do this. The first easy way is to build this kind of deep in the ground if you want to. You can build this deep in the ground with the collection underground and this part here being level with the ground. And then all you have to do is just push the cows in. But if you want to do it up high and you want to see your farm, and I always like to see my farm, so as I want to know where they are until I like to make them look a little bit pretty. And so they're in keeping with the rest of my buildings. But if you've got um, your farm, so you can just build a staircase off the side of these um, particular blocks if you want. And you could do that one wide, two wide, it's completely up to you. And if you build a staircase, you can then get yourself a cow. Hang on. I'm just going to demonstrate this. So you can see we've built a staircase and you notice I've actually used stairs. And the reason I've used stairs is because some of these animals are a little bit fussy. They don't like walking up blocks. They have to have stairs. I don't know, maybe they've got dodgy knees or something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate how you're going to get your cow inside. So I'm just going to spawn a couple of cows because I'm lucky enough to be in creative. They could not be less interested in me right now. And then all of a sudden, I hold this and they're like, I love you, Avo. Please give me some food. And it's certainly, please follow me to the dining table. And up they come. You have to go a little bit slowly to make sure they do follow you. And they come up and they come up and they come up. And then you've got cows on the edge. And then just come around the side and they will follow you around the edge. And then if you then stop holding it, they're less interested in you again. You go around to crouch and you push them in. And it takes a little bit of persuasion often, but make sure you don't fall off. Uh, but because they're big old animals, if you ever tried to push a cow, it's quite hard. And in they go. And you can see there, they are sat, I don't know if you can see, they're sat on the level of those, um, the second level of those uh, trap doors. Not the first level, the second level. And this fella here, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. We're gonna push you in. There you go, in you go, mate, you know, you want to. And then you can breed them up. And the way you breed them up is dead easy. Now, if you're gonna breed, if you're only gonna put um, two in, you need to close up these trap doors because um, otherwise what'll happen is the baby cows will just fall through. That's the whole point of this particular farm is that the baby cows fall through when you, um, Get out of my way. Get out of my way, cow. Get out of my way, cow. The baby cows fall through. But what you don't want the baby cows to fall through, you want the baby cows to grow inside this chamber. There he is. Hello, little baby cow. Have a little bit of food because you're nice looking. There you go. So that's what you want. And then you keep doing that until such time as you've got a load of cows. So once you've got a load of cows in your farm, fix up the wall that you just knocked down and close off uh, or open up all of the trap doors that are underneath and it looks like it's hard but actually it's not too bad get inside there give it a bit of a flick and you'll find that you can close up those trap doors with no problems whatsoever then you're going to close up the top and you're going to fill in the ring around here like here one two three four five six seven and eight and then in the middle one you're going to put a bit of glowstone and that is just going to act to light it up it looks much nicer you don't have a problem with mob spawning inside, not really, but at least that glowstone there makes absolutely sure. And then come around the back here at the point of which you've got your um, dispenser. And then if you open your dispenser up and you can put in a bucket of lava and then stick a button by shift clicking directly onto the back of that dispenser. You can see there, that's dead, dead easy. And then now I've had a, a few um, baby cows already fall through, you can see They've fallen through there already as a result of me using a spawn egg. Sometimes you get baby cows when you use a spawn egg. And then what you do, it's dead easy. You walk up here and you say, hello cows, anybody hungry? And they go, oh yes please have I. I couldn't be more hungry. I've not eaten for days. And you put 
a load of wheat into their open bovine mouths and they love you for it. And then you close them up and you can come around this side and get the ones that you can reach here and you get more hearts because they love you because you have wheat and you are the wheat man, you see, and you become the wheat man or woman or girl or boy and they think you're amazing like that. And you just give them a little bit more heartage and that's, oh, Avo, we love you. You give us wheat. You are the wheat man. And you can also be the wheat person. That is wonderful. And then once you've done that, you can not have the wheat in your hand and you become far less interesting to them again because they're very fickle like that. And if when you come and have a look in here, you will see we have got quite a number of baby cows just lolloping around inside that chamber. Now, don't worry about the fact they are going up on that... Um, block because when they grow up into big boy and big girl cows they won't be able to get on that block and that will basically force them off they won't be able to help themselves and then all you need to do is wait for them to grow so 20 minutes have passed and we have got adult cows it takes 20 minutes for cows sheep and pigs to naturally grow up to adults if they've been bred you can speed up sheep if they eat grass but you can't speed up cows so 20 minutes is the time to make those little cows into big grown-up cows and you'll see down there we've got nothing should have nothing anyway in there so we know on a single run this is a micro farm on a single run we know what we're going to get so what you need to do is you need to come around the back here and you need to press the button which releases the lava then press the button again which sucks the lava back in all those poor cows are having a bit of a hot time aren't they look they're all gone all gone particularly particularly dead is what they've done they've all gone very very deaded and what's happening is that little fella in there is collecting it up as it goes around and around and these guys are saying i don't care about my baby just give me more food which is a little bit mercenary, you could argue, uh, maybe a little bit scary. Uh, their parental skills are somewhat lacking. But what we've got in here is a load of food. So we've got cooked steak. This is cooked food now. It isn't just raw. You haven't got to cook it now. You can eat it straight away. And we've got six leather. So that was from just one round of um, cooking. And actually, I've not got adult cows to capacity in the top section here i could have some more which means i could have even more results so that is how it works i think that isn't too bad one meat farm that you can have for cows or for sheep or for pigs whatever you wanted you could breed anything at the top out of those three and the babies will fall through grow and then you can kill them a lot which is great if you wanted to you could replace more of the walls with glass so when you press the button at the back with the dispenser you can see what's going on inside absolutely no problem at all i'm sure you could wire it up so the button was at the front you could do that too but i just kept it nice and simple so you could fiddle around with it as much as you wanted to if you've enjoyed the video please do remember to slap the like button it'd be great to understand how much you like it and then i'll know to make more of this sort of thing and also if you haven't done it already please do remember to hit that sub button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club. I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.